Welcome to the Red Dice Diaries. This podcast is a rambling journey through the wonderful world of RPGs from the viewpoint of a long-time GM and player. The music at the start of this podcast was Nightmare by Alexander Nakarada and is used under Creative Commons license. And in this episode, Hannah is back to talk about her way of looking at RPGs and how she decides what she likes and what she doesn't. Take it away, Hannah. I used to work at a game shop, so I used to do a lot of selling people roleplay books and trying to help people find the roleplay books that they want. And therefore, I used to have to look through roleplay books very quickly. We'd get like 10 new ones every week and you'd have to try and work out what's what. So I thought I'd just go through how I look at roleplay books. thought it might be useful to all those aspiring games writers out there. And maybe give some insight to some people that just want to play some different games into how they've been looking at books and maybe change their habits a bit. So first thing I always do with a book is flip to the back and look for the character sheet. If there's not one there, I am not going to recommend that book to a new gamer. I'm probably not going to look much further at it for myself. The next thing I'm going to look for is the index and then the contents. Uh, One of the big complaints about the old world of darkness was the index or lack thereof. Uh, One of my major complaints with the Modiphius Star Trek system is that the index doesn't have the references that I need to run the game in there. Next thing I'll have a look at is sort of what the balance is between how narrative the game is, how crunchy the game is, whether it's going to be a good one for somebody that really wants to do like the maths and the miniatures and all the nitty gritty of the numbers, or if it's someone that just wants to tell stories and occasionally roll a dice. I'm going to have a look at the artwork and the titles in there. So I'm not going to be recommending the fish fuckers supplement to anyone with kids in their game. Similarly... I'm probably going to be looking at one of the more simple games for people that are looking to play with kids. Uh, If it's somebody that wants to be doing a very narrative game, they want to look at something like Fate. If you like all that crunchy stuff, but you don't want to spend lots of time looking at it, Dungeon World's the game for you. Um, You also want to look at things like how, uh, how specific the system is compared to how generic the system can be. So GURPS is a big one that's like, if you want to play something, there is a GURPS book for that. Compared to, well, so many others that are just their specific little system. I'm looking at John's shelf now. Exalted, you couldn't really use that system for much else, but it's so similar to the Old World of Darkness, which is a very generic system. You can run anything from X-Files to medieval fantasy in that system. Obviously, OGL, there's thousands of different games for the d20 system but then there's some stuff that is really specific like the modifius star trek system which i do have a very love hate relationship with Uh, um so i i look over all of this stuff and then it all comes down to the bottom line i'm not going to recommend a 70 pound rule book to somebody whose first game is next week and they've never even seen polyhedral dice before i'm not going to recommend a five pound indie game to someone that comes in every week and spends 50 pounds in my shop because i'd quite like him to buy that latest world of darkness game and put some money in my till it's all stuff you've got to bear in mind and if you are looking at designing game systems it's always good to have a stingy gamer edition and a deluxe luxury version because people will go for that stuff there's those that can't afford to not get the stingy gamer edition and there's those that just really want a big pretty shelf full of books and why not so that's how i look at roleplay books i hope it helps some people out with some stuff or at least was vaguely interesting (laughs) So that's it for this episode. If you have any questions or suggestions for things you'd like to see in the podcast in future, please either email them to reddicediaries at gmail.com or drop me a voicemail at Anchor. Until I see you next time, whenever you're playing, take care and enjoy yourselves.